Yo, Wagwan, my dad is Wagwan. Well, this is uh, my second video, and for the second video, I just kind of like just kind of finished up what I was talking about last time. I was just going into some nerdy black stuff about like basically just the creation, how uh, I came up with the idea, and um, I guess the second part. Well, it's really the first part of how I even came up with the idea of it was I had this friend and um, we used to sit around like listen to audio books, just like take a ride to the beach. I had this caddy, so just take a ride to the beach and just, you know, listen to audio books for hours and um, just uh, watch different videos, learn about stuff. And, um, she was telling me she was calling me a nerd and I was asking her why she was saying that and she was saying because she was a nerd you know and she was going to the different aspects of how you know as a black person being a nerd is like one of the things that we kind of shy away from but maybe it's something that we should think about because it's shying away from education and knowledge and wisdom and all actuality and she had a point you know so it made me think about it a lot so that was like the creation the beginning of the mindset of you know coming up with nerdy black now later on down the road I because she told me because you know I was doing this she was like you should come up with something you know for nerdy kids you know so that they can have a place where they belong she was like it's because black nerdy kids don't have a place where they belong <laughs> I was like, you know, you got a point. And she was saying that, you know, they have all kind of programs and uh, projects for kids that get in trouble, but, you know, they don't have them for nerdy kids. And I was in agreement, you know, like, there's still, um, there's still, I guess you would call them marginalized, you know, um, portion of a community you know so it got me to thinking and you know me having my kids you know everybody having kids you don't want your kids to grow up and get in trouble you want them to be educated and you don't want them to shy away from education and you don't want them to shy away from being wise you know so really had me thinking about some things so I think it was in uh was it 2022, 2021? Uh, I was just at home and I just got my iPad. I got my iPad right here. And I got this little pen. I got this pen right here. I got my iPad. And I drew up this symbol. I don't know if yeah, you can see it. Nerdy Black. So, this is my original. This is the original symbol. Well, the original symbol is... Uh, there was no green and purple. I put those and I don't know how to take it off. I'm just leaving it. So that's the symbol sign, but it's not black. So the N represents the broken N, you know, that derogatory term. There's actually uh, uh, the write up that goes along with it. It's actually in, um, it's on the page. It's on my channel description, but I think I also have it in here too. Let me see. This is where I kind of cleared everything. Let's see here. Um, hmm, got a lot of stuff in there. Wow. This is like all my notes. Okay, here we go. It says Nerdy Black. The broken N represents, and that's what the N is, it's a broken N. The broken N represents the rejection of any connotation associated with the derogatory term coined to black Americans by American slave owners. Labeled as ignorant for so long, we now destroy, deny, and transmute that term and energy into the polar opposite. The caduceus stands in the gap representing the healing of the black community and bridging the gap of our differences, understandings, and misunderstandings through teaching both young and old of our true history, our current state, and our prospect. 
liberating through educating set the trend for the world nerdy black and so that's what i wrote up so like like i was saying the broken end represents the rejection of any connotation associated with the derogatory term coined to black americans by american slave owners that's why i said why why my nerdies because you know I'm a firm believer in word sound power and um, the power of thought and the power of planting seeds and the power of energy and vibrations. As you can see as I wrote this up, speaking about a lot of uh, principles that are universal to the world, you know what I mean? Universal to life, you know, but uh, we're rejecting that term that means something ignorant and we're replacing that with something that means educated okay and the reason that that is n-e-r-d-i-e nerdy black b-l-a-k b-l-a-q b-l-a-q not c-k because i don't want to i don't want to associate with anything that represents the killing of my black brothers in any kind of way on either side I represent peace and I represent love and, and righteousness you know and I represent understanding that's the whole thing is to bring understanding you know and to bring education because it's just you know people just don't know they just some things people just don't know they don't understand the mindsets that they're attached to so you know growing up in certain environments like the language, the culture, everything that's a part of it, you know, it kind of, it kind of directly influences the way that you think, behave, process, process things in the whole bit, you know what I mean? So you can kind of get an understanding of what I'm saying. I'm going to break it down real quick like my dad always teaches right like there's four things that make up your subconscious mind that's your personal experience repetitious information credible authority and social environment so those four areas kind of make up your your paradigm you know what causes you to go on autopilot and what causes you to get the results that you're getting in your life and what causes you to understand what success is and because of what you understand success is that's where you will place your goals and that's where your mindset will be the whole point is to get your mind aligned with the creative energy of all creation that's the ultimate goal okay so labeled as ignorant for so long we now destroy deny and transmute that term and energy into the polar opposite like i was saying you know and transmute we're just going to change it from one state to another we're going to put it in the fire and um, break it down take out all the things that are infallible or that are going to corrupt it and um, separate those things that are valuable and uh, begin to build on that with the in a mental in a mental spiritual uh, way you know what I mean so like instead of giving people just tools right I don't want to just give people tools that they can automatically use per se like you go on a construction site and you give a man a shovel <laughs> You know, it's like you kind of have to go through the course. I don't want to say course. You just kind of have to go on a, the journey because it's more of a journey than anything else. But the whole point is to build a community around this that's, that's uh, dedicated to, you know, evolving and progressing. You know, with people that are like minded and that aren't afraid to, you know, be challenged and that want to experience change and true success and true peace you know 
So the Caduceus stands in the gap representing the healing of the black community and bridging the gap of our differences, understandings, and misunderstandings through teaching both young and old of our true history, our current state, and prospect. And that's pretty self-explanatory too. Basically just want to be able to give people uh, a full picture, like bring everything to where it was, where we came from, what we were, who we are, and where we want to go, you know, for the, for the youth and um, for, I mean, this is for everybody, but I want to help out the youth and I want to help out independent artists because I want to push uh, creativity and um, independence in, inside the creative space, you know, with the world opening up to different things and the opportunities that I can see be possible. I can, I'm just one mind. If we can all collaborate, we can all come up with something awesome that won't only just benefit us, but it'll be a community and an ecosystem that'll benefit our kids so that our youth won't have the same struggles that we had. They'll have different struggles. And that will be awesome, you know, for them not to have the same struggles that we had because we figured this out for them. And we figured it out for us too because we still got a lot of life to live and we can help a lot of people. And uh, this is kind of like where the world is going. So we need to kind of hop on it as far as like uh, breaking free. When people, when, when people first started saying like artists can be independent with blockchain technology, I was like, how? And it's like, how didn't I see it? You know, like every aspect of it, I can control it and own it and I can build upon it. I don't have to go through them. You know, I can build my own community and uh, I don't have to worry about anything. Like as far as being a creator, you can be as creative as you want to be without, you know, someone trying to censor you or whatever. You have your own community, you, you can build your thing up. You know, and I think that this has a lot of good, a good, a lot of good prospect in it all in itself. Y'all, you know, excuse me, I'm just kind of like, whatever right now. But I had to come out here and do these videos, and I'm going to start this video. See, these first videos, I don't know, man. Like, it was, like I couldn't just come out here and talk, but I guess I just, I got to do these things. I got to let people know what's going on, what Nerdy Black is, show that I'm a creator, show that I actually have a plan. So I got this Nerdy Black. So this is the creation of Nerdy Black. This is the mindset that I came up with. And when I first came up with it, I just came up with the symbol. I didn't have any idea of anything. This was just me putting this into pencil and paper and actually just writing my thoughts out, right? And that's it. The next thing that came along was, for some reason, I thought about virtual land. And then I started figuring out how to purchase virtual land because of the blockchain. I don't know what it was. And then I got on the Oculus trying to look for, because I was like, if this is virtual, it should be in VR, right? So then I got on the Oculus and I just found a whole new world and I ended up getting an apartment and then I was like, oh yeah, Nerdy Black. I just created that. So I made a Nerdy Black headquarters on the Oculus where people can come and I can advertise different things. And I started seeing this whole world open up to me. And before I knew it, I was immersed. And I was uh, excited about it, you know, because I saw where the future of the world was going as far as uh, technology and creativity and how art, the value of art was coming back, you know, it, but also I saw how much money was in this. Usually I don't really think about money, but you know, you gotta have money because money is gonna, you gotta pay for things in life, clearly especially if you live in California. So it's not bad to ask for money. It's not bad to want money. In fact, I want so much money that I can help everybody out and provide a way for everybody to eat like I'm trying to do now, right? That's why I'm building this community. And like I was saying before I knew it, I had a cryptocurrency. And I don't, I can't even tell you how, I wanted to just mint an NFT or just write my own contract for an NFT, I think. I think that's what I wanted to do. And then I ended up creating my own cryptocurrency. And then I ended up studying about the 
liquidity pools and decentralized autonomous organizations and all this deep stuff I never heard about and now I created a video game called Arnotis that's coming up August 20th today's July 26th so it got like little less than a month you know but uh yeah man I'm excited for this journey uh, next couple videos I'm just gonna do some short videos show you the journey of what I got as far as NFTs cryptocurrencies um, and talk about some of the different plans and stuff that I got you know what I mean so until next time deuces